In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a line that's perpendicular to a given line through a given point. And we're going to show you two different ways to approach this problem. So the first thing we want to do is we want to figure out uh, what is the slope of this original line. And in order to do that, we need to rearrange it into our slope intercept form so we can identify our m value or our slope. So let's go ahead and do that by getting y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. That gives us negative 4y equals negative 2x plus 12. And then we want to solve for 1y by instead of multiplying by negative 4, let's divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. And that gives us y equals 2 fourths, which reduces to 1 half x minus 3. And you can see this number here to the left of x or in front of x, that's our slope. Now, when you find perpendicular lines, they have the opposite reciprocal slope. What does that mean, opposite reciprocal? It means we have to change the sign to the opposite. So if it was positive, we make it negative. If it's negative, we make it positive. And then reciprocal, we flip that fraction over. That's going to be 2 over 1, which is just equal to negative 2. So this is going to be our perpendicular slope. Now, we can do this two ways. We can use the point-slope form or the slope-intercept form. Let's start with the point-slope form x1, y1 represents the point that the line goes through. In this case, this is our x1 and this is our y1. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by saying y minus our y coordinate of our point, which is 5, equals our slope, our perpendicular slope, negative 2, times x minus the x coordinate of our point, which is negative 2. Now remember, when you subtract, it's like adding the opposite. And this is our point slope form. You could leave it like that or if you want to rearrange it into this slope-intercept form, you can distribute the negative 2 into the parentheses. That gives us negative 2x minus 4. And then what we'll do is to get y by itself is we'll add 5 to both sides of the equation. And now we have y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. So this is our perpendicular line, uh, perpendicular to the original line, but it goes through this particular point. Now remember, See, if I have a line like this, there's actually a lot of lines that are going to be at right angles to that line. But we're looking for the particular one that goes through this point. Now, we can do this another way by using the slope-intercept form, and you might prefer this method. What you would do is you would start off by putting in our slope, which is negative 2. That's our perpendicular slope. But we don't know what our b value is. We don't know what our new y-intercept is of our line. So the way we find that is by putting in our point here, negative 2, 5. We're going to put 5 in for y and negative 2 in for x, and we're going to solve for b. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. If we get b by itself by subtracting 4 from both sides, you can see that b is equal to 1. And if we put 1 back into our equation here, we can see that y equals negative 2x plus 1 is our perpendicular line. Same thing we got over here when we started in the point-slope form. So great job if you are able to follow this video. If you want to see another example, I'll put a video right there that I did previously. Check out that video, and I'll see you over there.